housing and the vibrancy of our downtown is crucial to the future of Castlegar. Because of this, we took on a couple projects, one being the housing strategy and the other one being the downtown area plan. I had the privilege of sitting on both committees. We got to see the passion from community members, stakeholders, people who care about the future of Castlegar. Through these plans, we've come out with some great outcomes, some great strategies that Council can adopt, some uh, guiding documents that will help us make decisions for our future. An example of that is the Arrowminkle building downtown, where we have purchased and now partnered with the Art Gallery and the City and a housing organization to bring housing and the Art Gallery downtown. We are so excited for what this means for Castlegar and moving it forward. So we've known we've needed uh, more housing units and more diversity for some time, as well as we know we wanted to revitalize the downtown core, and we now have those two plans. And with those as being the basis, now we have the, the strong foundation for us to be able to make some bold, bold moves and changes. And one of those bold moves is purchasing this building, which will house the uh, Kootenai Gallery of Art and uh, future housing. And we could only do it with partnerships, like partnerships with the uh, Art Gallery, as well as Columbia Basin Trust and local housing providers. One of the most exciting things is that the, the location of this building and the future development is in such a prominent location. And it's something that uh, the community has talked about for a long time is needing to see some redevelopment. And it'll be neat to see this being the catalyst piece that's gonna change downtown. Realistically, it's gonna help everybody. It's gonna help businesses downtown. It's gonna create housing units for for people downtown, and it's gonna really help the uh, arts and culture scene downtown with, uh, with bringing the Kootenai Gallery to the downtown core. And the Kootenai Gallery has been working on relocating the facility to a more visible, accessible location within the city of Castlegar for a very long time. And we feel that with the purchase of this property in conjunction with the city of Castlegar and Columbia Basin Trust, which, for which we're very grateful, that we now have the confidence that this project is going to happen. What it will mean for the gallery is that we'll have larger exhibition spaces, we'll have a larger gift shop, and we'll be able to have workshop spaces for public programming and much, much more. It's going to be a much better facility. Um, we also feel that this fits into the downtown area plan so well in that the city is uh, supporting a downtown affordable housing project, a much needed project, and also looking for ways to revitalize the downtown core and hopefully attract new businesses and individuals to live and work in the downtown core. And by moving the Kootenai Gallery down, we feel that this is a really good start and a catalyst for starting this new energy downtown. So to say the least, like I said, we have been working on this a very long time and we, the board and staff are very excited and we're very ready to get going. There was a really strong recognition uh, that the city needs to be doing better in terms of diversifying the housing stock um, and uh, providing uh, opportunity of choice for our residents. So residents of the Columbia Basin told Columbia Basin Trust that one of the areas that we could support their efforts was helping them acquire property or land that would really help a community further its long-term vision, address its priorities. And that's why the Trust was able to support and work with Castlegar to acquire this property in downtown. It's such a great location, it's so central, and so the Trust is really excited to see what the next steps are going to be and to see a part of the vibrancy of downtown Castlegar. I think the most important thing we want to see in the downtown core is we want to bring people to the downtown to enjoy it and support our local businesses um, and to also just see some uh, vibrancy and um, activity in the evening and night as well. These two plans are difficult to digest. There's a lot of key information contained within them. But we as the city are going to work on things that we can do right now, such as the purchase of the Aramanko building. It's very, very exciting going into the future. There's a lot of things in there that are gonna take us the next several years or more to implement. And we certainly are looking forward to collaborating within our community to make all these great things in these plans happen. I'd like to thank everyone who was involved in the two plans, the housing strategy and the downtown area plan, your contributions are helping to shape the future of our community. 
Council, thank you very much.